Hello guys, this is your boy Shocker316. Here we are recording a game live. Um, Dark Raven right here is actually playing a game right now, an MRL game. And he's actually coming out with the Jets. He's playing against VG uh, Raven. Uh, VG Raven Maniac or something like that. I don't know what his record is. Uh, but anyways, we are in the MRL game and right here Dark Raven is coming out real quick here uh, with the hatback dive so down the middle of the field opening it up and green takes it in up to the first first and goal so uh, Dark Raven actually is, is going to have a new update coming up in his defense uh, some stuff we found out in the VG games he's also uh, really really stepping it up in the game as well in the Madden challenge he's actually doing a good a good job and teaching me some new schemes that I gotta do so we are labbing constantly labbing uh, different uh, schemes on defense and uh, and here we go uh, Dark Raven about to score one more time here 7-0 against uh, VG Gaming uh, VG Raven Mania here we're gonna come out Dark Raven coming out in the lob kick uh, We've been using this lob kick since Madden 11, bringing it back for Madden 12, real effective. The player doesn't know what he's doing. And here we are in high definition, Dark Raven versus VG Raven Maniac here. Here he's coming out, new run stopper. Almost go, gone. McGay, he is stopped here. Uh, he uses uh, 11 yards rushing. He's trying to set up a run stopper. Comes out in two. Oh, and here our opponent is actually stopped. Uh, we like to use a combination of man and zone during these games. And uh, here we go. So VG Gaming here. Uh, that was a, a short pass here to the left side of the field. And uh, we got uh, a nice stop right here. So start and 10, see what VG Raven Maniac has to do now. Uh, what is what he's going to do? So we only seen him one time. Oh, he hasn't been. This is his first series on offense. And we're setting up our defense. Oh, here we get a nice user pick. Die Raven makes a user pick right here with pull. A uh, user pick. Uh, we turn it back for 10 yards. Now we get the ball back. Dark Raven, can you please explain to us real quick what were you thinking in that defensive drive? Well, he went, came out strong with the run. So I put out my strong uh, run stopper and uh, to third down and 10. Sure, he's going to pass. So I picked him off and I read him well. 
Okay, so that was Dark Raven right here. He's actually on the game. Doesn't like to really speak on the mic. He likes to fully concentrate in the game. And uh, here we are live as well. This game will be uh, move up to YouTube as soon as the game is over. In case you guys want to review uh, some of the gameplay here going on. So here we go. And we're going to go run it out to the outside. Here we go. Green getting a nice gain. And we already have five rushes with 62 yards. Making it happen here. MRL game versus VG. Uh, Raven Maniac, Dark Raven using the Jets, coming in in a high back dive, strong close. We're on the 18 yard line, trying to get no huddle so we can confuse our opponent, get him on the run. Here we go, keep powering it right in the inside, in between the tackles. We got third and two. Here we go, coming out, here we go, breaking it out to the fourth yard line, making it happen here. Moving up the ball, eight rushes, 86 yards, barely in the first quarter. Here we go, our opponent is trying to, uh, he's trying to time the run here to stop it. This is what he's trying to do here with the safety over the top. Now bringing the safety over the top, I believe it's a real uh, big mistake. Um, we could actually come up with a streak, uh, with the, the receivers coming in streaks and just real quick uh, basic uh, throw. So we could catch him off guard right there. But here we're going to go, Dark Ravens ready uh, to capitalize here. Four yards to go, first and goal. Coming to the outside, scoring once again. 14, 13 is zero, so 13 unanswered points right now. Dark Raven, what were you thinking right now in this offensive drive? What were you reading? What were you thinking in this game? Well, right now, I'm just reading the runs. If he has everybody in this in in the inside, I'm just gonna go to the outside. If he has everybody in the outside, I'm going inside. Try to confuse cause try to confuse him as many times as I can. Good. So as you can see him there, uh, that was Dark Raven live here on this live stream as well we're going to be posting this video so you could review it and check it out at Madden All Stars. Now he's using the Cowboys playbook, the Our Lady scheme in the game and right here we're using the Jets. So we're going to go ahead and come out on defense. You could take a quick preview of the Dark Raven defensive scheme which also has some new improvements, some new run stoppers. We'll be updated pretty soon and we will post some of those updates as well on the Tournament Edition defensive guide from MaddenAllStars.com. Here we go to the outside. We got sucked in right here. Dyke Raven got uh, went to the inside here, man. He gets touchdown score, man. Uh, Dyke Raven made a, made a big, big mistake. Uh, he anticipated the run to the inside, moved the safety to the inside, and uh, our opponent did a really good job reading to the outside and uh, got out of right here a touchdown. So, um, real real small mistake, but. Uh, a really big gain in our opponent right there. So, Dark Raven is going to be looking forward and capitalizing on our next defensive uh, series. Here we go. Getting a, a good uh, turn, uh, return here to the 21 yard line. Here we go. We're going to go ahead. We're, Dark Raven is reading the defense as we go. Trying to set uh, a pass going on. I'll get the pass going on here after uh, really uh, dominating in the ground. Here we go again. Oh, here we go. I think he's gone. Tomlinson gone here for a really large gain. Uh, and as well, he has. Uh, he's about to have over six, six rushes for 109 yards barely in the second half. He has two different running backs. Two different running backs. I think each running back is going to have over 100 yards today. Already have over 100 yards each for each running back. Here we go. Green pushing it up to the 5 yard line. Also guys, make sure you go to MaddenAllStars.com, I got the new message board, so you guys want to leave some comments, message me there, you guys want to do a lab session, you want to play a game, make sure you message me at, uh, message me at the, here we go, Burris, oh, you can't stop Burris right there, man, look at that big man, 
making this nice catch. So tell us right here what you were reading on offense, Art Graven. What were your thoughts? And tell us about that defensive drive. We took it back for around 70 yards. Uh, well, I just read the run. And then uh, on that play, when I went to single back bunch, try to make him to think it was going to be a pass and go back to the run. And I went 70 yards, and uh, now I just scored with Burrs. Okay, so that was Dark Raven there on the mic, and here we are back again, uh, kicking off uh, three minutes left for the half to end. And this MRL game, uh, MRL games are played all matted at uh, four minute quarters, uh, no accelerated clock. Also, you're not allowed to block any field goals at all. I believe you could onside kick, but you cannot block any field goals or until the fourth quarter or something, and you got to be losing or, you know. Um, but anyways, here we are, back into the game. We got Dark Raven coming out. And uh, our 4 6 playbook, basically, we've been using this since last year. It's really effective this year. A lot of people have uh, been using other different kind of defenses. We're really comfortable with this one. And uh, so we keep using it. Here we go. Dark Raven over there, man. Uh, it's a nice uh, catch here. But we got him hurt, so hopefully uh, that player won't come up again right here so that was a good read we were there on the spot we just couldn't manage to uh, finish the play on defense and here he it cost us uh, got a really uh, first down right here so he, right here VG Raven maniac decides to actually uh, run with a uh, with uh, with the ball here we stop him uh, flat on the ground uh, no yards at all here we go now, uh, we got uh, Tebow here with our two rushes and 10 yards. He actually, he's actually really effective on the ground. Uh, a lot of people like to use him to get uh, this kind of short yardage. You saw there, uh, they, he did it against Dark Raven. Uh, especially he knows we're dropping some the D linemen into coverage. That's why he's uh, basically doing this thing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set up and adjust right here. Stop his run. Two minutes left, two minute warning coming up. By the way, Dark Raven is about to make it to the second round of the Madden Challenge. So he actually re dominated his opponent 50 points, man. 50 points in the game. He's going to try to run right here. And we're playing max coverage. We're not going to nano blitz you. Uh, I said we found some of the max coverage defense that really works. We've been laughing a lot. We decided to go away from nano blitzes only to use them in rare occasions or on, on usually in long passes uh, where they will not expect us to throw especially we've been labbing towards the uh, Madden challenge because in the Madden challenge you cannot nano blitz or rocket catch so uh, other than that you could do everything else but uh, here we are adjusting um, towards the Madden challenge kind of gameplay here so he's trying to wait for this curl routes everything's wide open and he runs Tebow here we go that purple rod was there and we stop him right in the spot for them five to see if our opponent's going to go for it or go for the field goal now in this situation actually last night uh, myself i was in the tournament i actually won a, a game uh by a field goal block so it was a really good experience Sc score is now uh 21 10. dark raven is the jets uh, our opponent um, PG Raven Maniac is the Broncos. Pretty much this year we've been able to play with a, a different uh, teams. Last year we stuck with the, I stuck with the Raiders. Uh, Dark Raven stuck with the uh, Ravens, I believe. Uh, this year we could actually play with any team. Uh, uh, every team is playable, and especially uh, we've been making it happening everywhere we go with different teams. So it's a really good experience this year. Here we go with Green, with a counter nine yard gain I think Green also has over a hundred yards so we got two running backs at this time in, the, in barely in the second quarter with two over a hundred yards rushing that's okay so here we go uh, he's trying to actually uh, create a stop right here so he can have an opportunity to at least kick a field goal back or try to score before the half ends So if our, here, we, here we go. We get a first down. So 
pretty much this right here it takes us chances of our opponent uh getting the ball back we could actually just sit on it right here as we speak uh, we're going to go ahead and run the ball with green get another first down so here we are making it happen on the ground Like I said, if you want to leave any messages for us, make sure you go to Man All Stars front page. And in the front page, you're going to see a new message board, almost like a chat room, guys, where you can go ahead and check it out and uh, leave us messages there. And if we're there live, you could answer it right away, man. Also, you could want to set up any, actually, any, any lab sessions with us. Make sure you... Go ahead and uh, and just send us some messages on the message boards. So here we are, MRL game coming out in the uh, in one of our Dallas Cowboys passing plays. Here we go, wide open. Burr is unstoppable. Got 29 seconds to score. See if we can at least get to field goal range. We got three timeouts, so we got plenty of time right now uh, to get uh, a touchdown or a score. So we want to get up uh, right now we're actually up two possessions if we could get up three possessions we'll, we'll come up with a in the second half with a great advantage over our opponent here we go second and eight 20 seconds left to go Here we go with a nice uh, curl route with Burris, which is basically those curl routes are unstoppable with Burris. He's like a really tall receiver, man, and strong, so there's no way any cornerback in this league could uh, dominate and stop him on the spot. So it's going to be real difficult to stop. And here we go with the fade route. Burris up, and here we get the touchdown before the half ends. So, Dark Raven, let us know your insights. What are you going to keep doing in the second half? Uh, what were you thinking? Uh, what do you think about VG Raven style of play? Uh, VG Raven style of play is very similar to ours, except that he's uh, adjusting. We just know how to beat our defense. So, um, we're going to see. Right now in the second quarter, I'm just going to waste the time till I get the win. So there you go. That was Dark Raven there saying that he's gonna probably uh, run the the time, run the not not run the clock, but we're gonna run uh, most of the time here, so we can uh, usually get uh, more of the clock. Um, well, basically, we got control of the game, so get more control of the game and and get this win under our belt. So I believe Dark Raven. What's your record in uh, in the MRL right now? As we speak. So right now he's a uh, one and one in the MRL. If he gets, he manages to get this win today, he'll be two and one, and he has around uh, four more games to play um, for the MRL to qualify to the second round of the or the second part of this league. You almost get a pick right here. So coming into the half, uh, Dark Raven is up 28 to 10, making it happen. This MRL game versus VG Raven Maniac. Dark Raven here with the uh, Jets. Oh, oh! I thought he was gonna let it go over there for a second. So uh, you know, those are one of the big mistakes that people we like to do. Uh, like to let the ball go um, as soon as uh, they see a lob kick, thinking that it's gonna go to the outside, and it usually stays in the inside. Man, most of the time, 80% of the time, the ball will stay in the inside. Um, some of the main things you got to see is probably the wind. So if the wind is going to the outside, you want to kick it the opposite side. Here we go with a user pick. By the way, uh, Dark Raven has great sticks in the air, man. He could actually press L2, turn around his player, as you saw there, and get a pick. Uh, I'm actually I'm lacking on those skills, and I'm actually... Uh, working on them as we speak today that was just how, how I was doing uh, labbing on my stick work for defense so uh, as soon as I could get that going pretty much would be really really good on defense on uh, attacking in the air so pretty good on defense like Dark Raven here we go down the middle 
Green 116 yards, and then we have Tomlinson with 109 yards. The game ain't even over yet. Still got a lot of game to go. He's blitzing right now. It, it seems like our opponent is putting down. Um, it's it's actually gambling right now with a safety man. Uh, as you can see we could probably counter this uh, with a pass here with a streak. And he's it seems like he's also pretty much desperate, uh, knowing that we're gonna we're about to score. And uh, you know we got three points in our belt right here, no matter what. So going up probably another possession in this game. And we got Keller here for a touchdown. Dominating here, VG Raven, um, Maniac in this game, MRL game. We're actually in a hot streak right now. 35-10. Here we go. Ah, oh, man. Here we were waiting for the ball to go to the outside. Let's dive raving this up. 35 to 10. McGay here coming, running to the outside. Uh... Here we go with a nice stop, uh, only one yard gain. We have a new setup on defense that we will uh, probably post in uh, Doug Raven. It's a new update, and as well as uh, on the Elite Tournament guides, if you have uh, if you have one of those guides, so we will post them there. Some adjustments, some reads you gotta do this time. And right here, we're not nanoing, we're not doing any blitzes, we're just max coverage in uh, different areas of the field. And we could do it here with a 4-6, uh, and we're making it happen right now. So, I mean, some of you guys probably wondering, how do we get the plays that we do? Uh, you know, well, well, most of the time uh, we lab uh, in lab sessions. We have uh, games. Uh, uh, most of the games we play is online, and online is where we get all our material, and then we put it into a mode where we actually put it into a tournament mode so we could control the clock and have uh right here we're actually he's he's relying on the air right now so uh we're gonna give him a defense where we're gonna be attacking the air at the same time our players are in position to stop the run so most of so uh here we go um we're actually have first down we get the ball back Thomas in here with the ball. 114 yards. We could probably get, well, I, don't, I don't know, we could probably get 200 yards with each of running back. That would be probably crazy if we do. Here we go. Triangle wide open. Keller here for a nice catch. Oh man, he misses the catch. That was, I think I think that one was a really high lob. But I don't know Sanchez right there. Uh, just I, don't, I think the Italian didn't have the speed to catch that ball right there. But we could see it all the way. I mean, I mean our opponent right here, Raven Maniac, was actually he's playing with a safety. So you're gonna get beat every single time. Uh, uh, I don't know if he's probably playing the run first, that's what's going on, and and then he's going for the pass, but uh, with the Dallas Cowboys playbook, basically we have a balanced offense, we could run and pass the ball uh, every single time. I was wondering why Joe King Giant didn't shoot a try to field goal instead of, uh, I mean, it seemed like he was pretty much field goal range there. But anyways, we decided to punt, and here we go. It's 
second and five. And that was a good uh, read here. Since the running back on a little drag route to the outside, he was wide open. Gonna go ahead and make the adjustment. Basically, our, our opponent is just, uh, I feel like he's desperate, man. He has to score right here no matter what. He's not getting uh, any opportunities. Oh, man, that was a very lucky catch on his part. Okay, we're setting up here again. Full gets again and get nice catch. I mean, he's a pretty tall receiver, that's why he's getting those catches up there. And he knows we're playing zone, so he's gonna attack that area every single time. The Tebow. Here we are, almost the f a fourth quarter of this game. We have um, over 200 yards rushing. Oh, we got here. Almost got the pick. Almost had a pick right here. Oh man, I thought I thought that Graven had seen that spot right there. Uh, first and goal here, VG Ravens uh, driving here, trying to score, trying to get a score here before the fourth quarter. Uh oh, he coming out in the lob kick and the lob on the lob catch uh, right there. Lob pass here, fade uh, fade route, and uh, here he gets uh, a touchdown before the uh, fourth quarter ends. Uh, nine seconds before the fourth quarter ends, so. That was good. He deserved that drive. Uh, he, he worked for it. Made it happen here. We're about to answer back right now with the Dallas Cowboys offensive guy. Kicks it out of bounds. Here Doug Raven goes with green and green is gone here again. <laughs> green is about to get 200 yards rushing, man. How many yards does he green have already? 41 to 17. 41 to 17, green about. We got Thomason with 120 yards. We got green with almost 200 yards rushing. I think we're going to have the quarterback right now. Start running with Sanchez and maybe make him get a couple of hundred yards there. We get the kicker and make him run some yards too. Here we go. Big mistake. This is it, man. He's pretty much giving up in this play. I, I don't know if, he, if we're going to make uh, Raven, uh, VG Raven quit in this game. So we got here two streaks. We got to worry about the middle. Here we go. We almost get the catch right here. So usually right here in our defense, we got to worry about these two streaks. Uh, we we got to cover one and 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 get our help uh, coverage from another linebacker. As you can see here, there's one right here. Dark Raven doing good coverage. Okay, that's again the same little, little short pass he did with the running back last time. Uh, he brings it back. Uh, in this play right here, he gets really nice gain, and he's now on the 25-yard line. So here, he's trying to attack with a streak. Got three minutes, 32 seconds left in the game. Almost getting the here the user strip by Dark Raven. 
very very close gets nine yards now we're gonna make him work we're gonna make him work for this touchdown so we'll see if he deserves it or not here he wants to run with Tebow gets a, a holding call send it back send him back 30 and 11 Here we go. Uh, fourth quarter, three minutes left to go. Dark Raven is up. He's the Jets. The Broncos down 17-42. Uh, oh, here we go. Almost here. Snatching the pick off the air, but he drops it. Uh, our opponent is probably going to go for it in this situation. I would go for it as well. Especially being so close here to the goal line. So we're going to see here. Dark Raven's defensive guide right here in, in action right now as we speak. Oh, here we go. Drops the ball. Get the ball back. This time again, Dark Raven said he was going to come out with the rush. Uh, rushing attack. And as you saw there, our last offensive drive resulted in a big gain by Green. Who has almost over 200 yards rushing. Here we go. And Green is gone again. So after this game, 245 yards on the ground, guys. On the ground with 100. We have another 100 yards, right, with uh, Tomlinson already. So that uh, makes it 345 yards overall rushing. We got two, still two minutes and 30 seconds left. Here we go with Tomlinson. Attacking on the ground, 122 yards with Thompson, so nine rushes. So and really, in this game, uh, Dark Raven came to attack on the ground, and um, and, and I mean, he likes to attack in the ground every single time. And right here, we're trying to go ahead. Bring it down to two minutes. And here we go. Dark Raven, another touchdown. Drive. Go ahead and let him know, Dark Raven. What are you thinking in this game, man? Well, I haven't played with this guy in uh, the first time. Uh, I didn't know nothing about him, but it's good that I know how to read the defenses and the offenses. So he played a good game, man. Uh, I didn't mean to score up the score, man, but it's all good, man. It's the game. So good game, man. Okay, so we're back uh, here, and uh, Dark Raven, uh, 49-17, man, uh, dominating his opponent today. This Dark Raven doesn't want to run up the score, but he's just running the ball, and, and for some reason his opponent cannot uh, avoid uh, or try to, uh, cannot stop the run. He's probably struggling on the run, and, and if he needs any help, he can feel free to contact us. He leave a message on the message board at metanostar.com in the front page. And we'll be glad to help him out. So, so we're not even blitzing at all or anything. We're just playing uh, pure sticks on the on the air when they're attacking us on the air, and we're playing uh, max coverage defense. So that's pretty much what we're doing. And like I said, Madden Challenge, you're not allowed to nano blitz. So we're playing according to the Madden Challenge rules. As we're practicing for that tournament, and Dark Raven dominated his opponent 52. The 21 in the last game of the Madden Challenge. So we got that game on record as well. So that game will be posted up online. The complete breakdown of uh, Dark Raven's defense in action. There we go. With a sack. That was basically a cover sack right there. So our opponent sacked himself on that one.
So, so we'll see if our, if our opponent calls a timeout. Basically, if he calls, calls a timeout, that means he wants us to score on him. Uh, we're trying to uh, give him a sign of respect by, by just kneeling the ball and not going over 50 points. So, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you got to say, Doc Raven? Uh, who are you looking forward to playing in the future in the league? Well, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition. The MRO man, and uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, there's a lot of competition, and uh, I hope I win this year. I've always been in the final fours, and. Uh, Probably win this championship this year. So Dark Graven has really high expectations. All he has to do is probably get uh, his games in and, and qualify for the playoffs and get in there. Uh, he has been in the Final Four a couple of times. And uh, um, here Raven Maniac sending us a message why he picked Denver. But uh, it was a good game, man, overall, bro. So, uh, you know, if you're watching this, uh, you know, uh, Good game, and uh, we'll probably see each other later on in the future in the uh, playing against each other. Either by myself, Shocker 360, or Dark Raven again. And so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and run it down the middle of the field. Uh, you know, when I gave, I gave, I, I actually made the choice for Dark Raven to to get the Jets, but he could actually gotten maybe a better team. But uh, what do you think about the Jets, Dark Graven? Uh, how can you make them, or, or tell us about your depth chart, how can you make them more effective, or what did you do to make them this explosive, especially in the running game? Yeah, just uh, look at the stats, man. And uh, you got to see the receivers. You have to have uh, a lot of jumping, and they got to be over 6'2", man. You, get, you also got to get a fullback, a tight end, that's a fullback. And your main tight end, once you get those, Man, you're gonna be unstoppable, man. You get your uh, running game is gonna be faster. They're gonna fast. They're gonna block faster, and uh, that's how you get a lot of yardage. So the, the Jets are a pretty good team. I had a little problems with Burris catching the ball, but now I know how much how uh, to use them. So. so we're gonna look at the stats right here, Dark Raven. We're gonna go ahead and look at some of the stats right here, and just let us know here. Uh, you know. Especially on defense. Here, uh, you know, what was your main concern, especially uh, in, uh, about your opponent uh, doing to you on, in, on, on offense? So here we are with some uh, some of the some of the stats here. And as we go, we just talk, talk about. It. Right, as you can see, Sanchez only has six out of eight attempts, six completions. Uh, there was no reason to pass a lot. As long as he can stop my run, I'm just going to keep pounding until he stops me. Right there you can see, 245 yards, 130 yards. With Green and Thomason, that's more like 350 yards almost. So, receiving, Burris, this is my emergency. So, he's the tallest guy, as you can see, 265 to 26. And, uh, defense, pull. As you can see, I put Poole there because he's a uh, tall and he's a little bit faster than Eric Smith. Eric Smith, I put him as a strong safety. He's a hard hitter. He can stop your run. Kyle Wilson, he's uh, my middle. He can cover the middle most uh, very well and uh, get more picks. And uh, that's about it. Uh, his stats, you can see Tim Tebow. Uh, it's not a really good quarterback, but he had a touchdown, 46 completion. So, it's pretty good. Here, McGee, he, he beat me on that 74 uh, long run, but that's because I sink the safety in. So, be be uh, more careful with the safety. you got to cover the edges. And right there, you can see Daniel Fell, 6'4". He got more yardage than everybody. 6'3", Decker. Uh, you got McGee, he, he got me good on that one, so, that's pretty much it, man, uh, so, good game, RGV, Raven Maniac, so, hope you see you again in the playoffs, uh, good luck, guys, hope you enjoyed this, MaritanAllStars.com.